Daniel Danny the Lion Leo is the acting boss of the Genovese crime family, the biggest of New York's five families. Early life and career, Leo was once a member of the notorious East Harlem Purple Gang in the 1970s and he is also known as Daniel Leonetti, and Daniel Leonardo. Rise in the Genovese family, before his imprisonment, Leo lived in a luxurious manor in Rockley, New Jersey and was a suspected drug trafficker during his earlier years as a lower soldier in the Genovese crime family. On June 13, 1980, Leo was indicted for refusing to answer grand jury questions in regards to the murder of 18-year-old Morris Anzizi. Anzizi and his girlfriend were murdered in 1978 in the Bronx. Leo was once the president at a company called Elite Ready Mix. Allegedly promoted to captain under the regime of Vincent Chin Giganti in the late 1980s or early 1990s, establishing a high position in the family with Giganti's top associates Dominic Quiet Dom Cirillo, James Little Jimmy Ida and Louis Bobby Manor. After living a very low-profile life as a faction leader in New Jersey. In 2005, Leo became the acting boss of the Genovese family. Indictment and prison, in May 2007, Leo was one of many Genovese crime family members indicted on federal loan sharking and extortion charges. In early 2008, Leo pleaded guilty to racketeering and loan sharking. He was sentenced to five years in prison. His projected release date was October 7, 2011, but on January 10, 2010, he pleaded guilty to racketeering charges and faced up to 40 years in prison. In March 2010, he was sentenced to an additional 18 months in prison and fined $1.3 million. Whether he still maintains the position of boss acting boss while in prison remains unknown, because there are other candidates who are out of prison such as former street boss and Manhattan faction leader Liborio Bellomo. Leo was serving his time at the Low Security Facility at Federal Correctional Complex, Coleman in Florida, but has since been released into community corrections in Miami. He was released on January 25, 2013. References External links The New York Post, Leading Without His Chin by Gene McIntosh and Carty Cornell